Good day everyone. I am Marvin R. Garing, BS English 2A. And for today's topic, we are going to talk about the biography and famous literature of Lope K. Santos. Lope K. Santos, born as Lope Santos Y. Canseco on September 25, 1879, in Pasig, Philippines was a highly esteemed Filipino writer, linguist, labor leader, and politician. He is renowned for his significant contributions to Philippine literature, language development, and his advocacy for social justice. Santos hailed from a modest background and demonstrated remarkable intellectual prowess from an early age. He pursued his education in passing and later enrolled at the University of Santo Tomas in Manila. In 1903, he obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree, and four years later, in 1907, he completed his law degree from the same institution. During his time at the university, Santos actively participated in nationalist movements and organizations advocating for Filipino rights and the country's independence from American colonization. He also became involved in labor unions, championing the rights and welfare of workers, establishing himself as a prominent labor leader. Lope K. Santos made substantial contributions to the development and promotion of the national language, Filipino. He firmly believed in the necessity of a common language to unite the Filipino people. In 1936, he published his influential work, Balarila ng Wikang Pambansa, or The Grammar of the National Language, which provided guidelines and rules for the standardization of Filipino grammar and vocabulary. Santos' literary achievements extended beyond language advocacy. He was a prolific writer, penning novels, short stories, essays, and poetry. His most notable work is the novel Banaag at Sikat, or From Early Dawn to Full Light, which offers a social critic of Philippine society during the American colonization era. The novel deals into themes of social inequality, land reform, and the clash between traditional Filipino values and Western influences. In addition to his literary endeavors, Lope K. Santos dedicated himself to public service. He served as a member of the Philippine legislature representing the 5th district of Rizal province from 1916 to 1934. Santos actively participated in the legislative process, advocating for reforms and policy that would benefit the Filipino people, particularly the working class. Throughout his life, Lope K. Santos received numerous accolades and recognition for his contributions to literature, language, and social issues. He was awarded the Republic Cultural Heritage Award and the Presidential Medal of Merit for his outstanding achievements. Santos' enduring legacy lies in his commitment to the Filipino language, his promotion of social justice, and his profound impact in Philippine literature and culture. Lope K. Santos passed away on May 1, 1963, leaving behind a rich literary and cultural heritage. His works continues to inspire and influence generations of Filipino writers, linguists, and advocates of social change. Santos remains an influential figure in Philippine history, symbolizing the resilience, intellect, and unwavering commitment to the Filipino people's welfare. The most famous literary work of Lope K. Santos is the novel Banaag at Sikat, or From Early Dawn to Full Light. is a novel written by Lope K. Santos, one of the most celebrated Filipino writers. 
set in the early years of American colonization in the Philippines. The story follows the lives of two friends, Delphine and Felipe, who take different paths in life. Delphine, coming from a wealthy background, becomes a lawyer and is influenced by American ideals of progress and modernity. He embraces Western ideas and aspires to rise within the colonial society. Felipe, on the other hand, a farmer's son, becomes a teacher and remains rooted in traditional Filipino values and culture. The novel explores the stark contrast between the privileged elite and the oppressed masses, shedding light on the exploitation of the Filipino peasantry. It touches on themes such as social inequality, the struggle for land reform, and the clash between Western influences and Filipino identity. Throughout the narrative, Santos weaves a tapestry of love, loyalty, and justice portraying the complexities of Philippine society during a time of significant change. The novel provides a nuanced perspective on the aspirations, challenges, and dreams of the Filipino people, offering insights into their collective journey of self-discovery and resilience. Banaag at Sikat is regarded as a timeless piece of Philippine literature, known for its social commentary, rich cultural insights, and the enduring relevance of its themes. It stands as a testament of Santos's literary prowess and his contribution to the exploration of Filipino identity and the struggle for social justice.